Welcome back to We the People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. I will link it to the end of this video. There's a lot of good stuff I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot on YouTube. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to hit the bell icon and the thumbs up. This will tell YouTube that you like my content. Thank you so much. Okay, Joe Biden is now upset. And really and truly, y'all, I, I can't blame him. I mean, I think any man would be upset about this. He is mad because every time he makes a word blunder, uh, his administration quickly draws back what he just said. He is now jumping on them, telling them that they need to remember that he is the president, not them. I like that, but we need to still talk more about this. I like the fact that he is standing up to them because we all know he has not stood up to them a bit. And I think it's about damn time. But he told them not to forget that he is president. Well, Joe Biden, I'm sorry to tell you, but I have tried to forget that you're president so long now. And every time I think I'm about on top of that situation, I realize the nightmare is still continuing every day. Joe Biden said that when they take back things that he just said, it makes him look weak. Yes, it does make him look weak, but then he is weak. But in fact, what these people are doing, they're trying to cover his butt and at the same time keep us out of World War III. Because his word blunders is very important and they could be misinterpreted by another country and it could lead to major problems. You all know I make word blunders here on my channel all the time. I mean, that's what you do when you talk off the cuff. You don't go by a script. Now, I, I do write my notes down, but still. I mean, he's got a big teleprompter. I just got a little sheet of paper. So I do still make word blunders. But then I am not the acting president of the United States. Elon Musk. <clears throat> excuse me, has now told all of his employees to return to work in the office or pretend to work someplace else. I think it's about down time these big companies demand we get back to normal because the pandemic is over and even if you're still scared, you can protect yourself. I mean, most of the time, I'm not going to say most of the time, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of times when people work at home, do they really give a full eight hours? Do they really do their job as, as efficient as they could in the office? So I think it's about time people return to the office environment. Joe Biden wants to change the age for buying a semi-automatic uh, gun. He wants to change it from 18 to 21. Now, y'all, I'm mixed on this. Uh, he's not trying to take these guns away. He's just trying to make the law more where it would work better. And I can understand why he would say 18, because most 18-year-olds are not mature enough to handle an automatic weapon. But then on the other hand, our government we can put these weapons in these young kids' hands, send them off to battle, and say, kill. If they can have a handgun, if they can have a semi-automatic weapon to do the government's dirty work, why can't they have one to protect their home and family? I mean, a semi-automatic weapon is not a machine gun. I can understand the machine guns 
normal citizens do not need machine guns. They do need a good weapon with good stopping power. And these 9mm handguns that they're wanting to get rid of has stopping power, believe me. I heard an analogy the other day. And it says if somebody gets shot in the lung with a 22 bullet, most of the time they can pull that bullet out and you'll be just fine. On the other hand, if you get shot with a 9mm in the lung, it blows your lung up. That's that's stopping power. I don't see any problem with that because if someone's breaking into your home with your family in there, they're going to steal or kill. So, who's got the better stopping power? If I got a 22, the person breaking in might have a 9mm. But I can understand the 18-year-old, what do they really need these guns for? But then, like I said, on the other hand, we can put it in their hand and tell them to go do the government's dirty work. And that's perfectly fine. I, I can't understand their logic. <clears throat> Joe Biden is now sending long-range missiles to Ukraine. Now this is after uh, Vladimir Putin warned not to do this. Vladimir Putin has warned so many times about so many things not to do and he hadn't retaliated. What happens when the day comes that he does retaliate? When will we stop funding everyone else's wars around the world? I am not talking about just Russia or Ukraine right now. I am talking about all countries. We need to stop funding their wars, their projects, and take care of America first. Again, thank you all so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Please sound off in the comments. Get it off your chest, your mind, your heart. It will make you feel better. And I do love to read your comments. Okay, this is the good news that I told you about in the thumbnail. I don't want nobody to say I never talked about the good news. This is good news. I told y'all that uh, just because your state, the state that you're in, is not sending out stimulus checks right now, that don't mean that they will not be sending out these stimulus checks. So don't put your hands in your head and say, oh, my, my state will never do that. You don't know that. Just because they hadn't done it yet don't mean they won't do it. I, I know you hate saying, hearing this, but just have patience and have just a mustard seed grain of faith that will go a long way. These stimulus checks are going out this month. These stimulus checks will be for $850. This is money left over from the last round of stimulus money. So 858,000 people will be getting these stimulus checks. Don't despair if this is not your state. Your state could be next if you just have faith. These checks will be going out this month. Income limits for these checks will be single person making 100,000 or less, a married couple making 200,000 or less. Just two days ago, Pennsylvania announced that they would be sending out these checks. Your check, your state could be next. Okay, I, I swear I had the state written down, but best I remember it was Maine. I'm sorry, y'all, I, I should have written that down. It was, I'm almost positive it was Maine. The new press secretary, Karen Jean-Pierre, said that Joe Biden understands how it feels personally, personally. He understands how it feels to pay more at the pump. How is that? He don't even go to the gas pump. He has his crew to take his fleet of SUVs to the gas pump for him. And his crew that does this, 
Don't use Joe Biden's money. They use mine and your money. Joe Biden has not opened his wallet to pay for a tank of gas in so many years. His head would probably spin and he'd pass out if he did. And But then right after Karen Jean-Pierre, I just love that name to be working in my White House. After she said that, she went straight into talking about Putin's price hikes and how Joe Biden has created so many millions of jobs in his first year, more than any other president. Well, let me tell you, Joe Biden did not create these jobs. This is jobs that people had before the pandemic when our government closed our country down and made them lose jobs. This is just people going back to work. These are not new jobs. So Joe Biden did absolutely nothing. Okay, now I know the haters are gonna come, will come out on this saying that I'm bashing Joe Biden. I am not bashing Joe Biden on this. This is pure facts. Numbers are in again and numbers do not lie. The only time numbers lie is if it's concerning an election. But Joe Biden's overall approval rating has now sunk to another all-time low, 36%. This is just facts. This is not bashing. 36%. All-time low. Every time the numbers comes in, it's always an all-time low. Last thing before I leave you. Have you noticed in the past week or so, we have not heard a single thing about monkeypox? Well, I guess our government and the World Health Organization has realized that they're not going to scare the American people to death again with another pandemic. So their attempt to do this has failed miserably. I think that it's about time and it looks like it's happening. The American people are waking up to this bullshit coming out of Washington. Coming out of Washington and from our health organization, World Health Organization. I think it should be called New World Order Health Organization. Please sound off in the comments. Let me know how you feel about all this garbage. I would love to hear from you. And just know I can't answer all your questions, but I will try to answer as much as, as I can. Please watch the videos that's popping up here now. This is yesterday. I hope you like it. There's a lot of good stuff I don't want you to miss. Okay. As I always say, and I always will say, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those people in Washington. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I love you all. Please watch the video that's coming up here at 1 p.m. I got a lot of good stuff in that video. I don't want you to miss either. Thank you so much. Until later. Ciao.